take a quick look at this and tell me what you think. This is a five-year-old male with endocrine problems. What we're seeing here are two post-contrast images from a single sequence. Here we're seeing the T2 and the unenhanced sequences showing the tumor. Now we're back to T2 and post-contrast. If you'd like to pause here and decide what you think this is, then I'll walk you through what my thinking was. For a five-year-old in this location, craniopharyngioma is a great guess, but this is a really uniform tumor. It's very uniform in T2 signal, it's uniform in T1 signal, and it's uniform in its enhancement. That would be uncharacteristic of a craniopharyngioma because the characteristic appearance of a craniopharyngioma is heterogeneity. That's its characteristic finding. Now, what about a pituitary adenoma? Those are uniform, yes, but they would be unusual in a five-year-old. And I think I see the pituitary gland pressed forward, pressed anteriorly adjacent to this tumor. It's not expanding the gland like I would expect it to be. So what are we left with in this age patient in this location? Germ cell tumors. Germ cell tumors are gonna be uniform like this. And uh, although it involves the cell, expands the cell and is supracellar, uh, doesn't seem to be affecting the pituitary directly. Germ cell tumor is gonna be your best bet. This is an incredibly important radiologic conclusion. If this is a craniopharyngioma, then this patient needs an extensive surgery and the whole mass will be taken out. If this is a germ cell tumor, then all you need is a biopsy to confirm the diagnosis and the patient will undergo chemo radiation. So you can spare this patient an extensive surgery, which this one unfortunately received, if you make the correct diagnosis preoperatively.